Hello, this is Stephen from Owner Disown. Today we're taking a second look at the game Hot Dogs, Horseshoes and Hand Grenades. In my first video, I had uh, jumped straight in, both feet, um, without looking at the uh, training videos, which was perhaps a little bit unfair to the game, but it was a first look. Um, I've uh, since uh, absorbed myself in all the instructions, um, so let's take a look at it now. There's a, a few more game options here available than there was before, which is great. Um, so... Let's have a look, modular range. This is a new game, wasn't here before. You can compete against uh, your fellow colleagues there, you know, your competition. You've got to pick up the guns by the handle. Pick that up there. Press the thumb pad up to click into place. And these big orbs at the bottom, using the grip buttons on the uh, controllers, you can drop them off in there. Nice big hole. So he's even telling you that to reload. But I've got a machine gun! Fifty-six. So I was probably cheating there by using a machine gun. You got this gun here. Drag the left uh, thumb pad down. To the left there to open up the barrel. Individually put these in there. Going off the edge of the table, but if the graphics are great, the reflections see that flicks beautifully there. <laughs> All right, well, let's just do that again. I don't have enough bullets, but just to give you an idea. <laughs> the shine on the guns are great, the reflections. This hall is very atmospheric. Run out of bullets, let's quickly get this one. <laughs> 88, I did it better there, even though I ran out of bullets. Warehouse range takes us in this big warehouse. Got lots of different guns and things to choose from, which is great. Press that there to open the thing. And pull it closed like that. And then, fire! So that gun works good. I had problems with this shotgun last time, but I think uh, developers put uh, lots of different uh, patches on. Same thing there, open that. Shells go in nice and easy this time. Perfect. And it closes easily. I mean, it's uh, what can I say? Let's get uh, some targets. Get these really close. Put on the sight. So you've got additions of sights now, which are great. See, that's great. And the graphics on the guns are absolutely fantastic. Also on the table, you've got the usual dynamites. See, great. Wow, yeah. You've got these, uh, these grenades where you pull the pin and you can alter the time. See it along the dial going along there, alters the time of how quickly it explodes. So, there you go. You got the regular grenades. You can pull the pin and it, you know, you throw it. Squeeze the, uh, the handles and it uh, cooks it. There you go. 
So you've got different grenades there. We'll see the lighter. Flick it up with the thumb pad. And then stroke down with the thumb pad to light it. We've got some novelty grenades. Great, it's fun. So, fantastic. All right, next one, indoor range. I did like this one before, but now there's a big, vast array of scopes and guns, a lot more guns. There's a fantastic sign there showing you what you can do. So let's, um, I'm going to try a pistol first. So let's uh, not go too far away. Let's go 18 feet. Let's go for this. sound it's fantastic and you can see the it's replicated there your score now I can go a bit further away 20 yards now pressing the left thumb pad to the left alters those modes you can grab the front of that gun with the other controller which is great oh yeah you can't see if you're hitting but if you look there, you can. I'm going a bit low, so... That's great. And you get your score. So, 215 points. So that is uh, fantastic, I do like that. Let's see if I can throw it at the board. Oh, missed. <laughs> Oh well, you won't see me at the circus. All right, so next one. So let's do the sniper first. This is a new one. I say new one, it's only it wasn't in there, the one I reviewed. Um, so nice big sniper gun. A big scope. Just slot in there. Pull it back there, you get your legs. You put down there. You can rest them on the table. Alright, so, okay. Nice echoey sound, it's very impressive. So that is great. I love the sound. I love the sound that makes. That's fantastic. I do like this addition there. It's a great sniper range. Um, definitely give that one a go. Grenade ski ball. We had a look at this before. Nothing much has changed on it. Same objective, knock down uh, these blocks with six grenades. Obviously, you've got to try and get through the gap. That's funny. Look at it's gone up there. So, but it do slide down towards you, which is nice. So close. Now you can throw it over the wall as well, which is hard for me because I've got a, a not big, I've got a low ceiling. Let's try it like that. Ah, it's tough. It's tough to get those ones over there. I think I prefer the firing ranges, but uh, if you wanted their own. Um, the gymnasium, I couldn't get to work. I think it's might be my low hung ceiling. I was there at night. Now all of this, you've got the uh, matches which you you just thumb pad to slide up and gets the matches open. You got sparklers. Ooh, oh, it doesn't look sparklers. I always love sparklers. You can swim around. You can set fire to fireworks. Whoa, whoa! Oh, couldn't do that in real life.
Fantastic. And then you've got um, usual selection of revolvers to shoot the uh, either the, the watermelons, these side thingies. All right, so let's throw some uh, fireworks. Yes, at the watermelons. And they've been vaporized. Woohoo! All right, so that's fun. The friendly fire range is pretty sweet. There we go, hit that up there. And you can see it leaves a hole, which is great. Another thing I like, shoot these cans. They spray, they're full of pop. They go all the way on top of that hill. All kinds of uh, targets, which you can actually go all the way to the top of that hill. Take that. Take that. You're looking at me? Yeah, don't. Yeah, so you can go all the way up here. I haven't gone over there, but all the targets are all the way along here. So yeah, you come along here and you can see that I shot there, the hole in there. So a welcome addition to um, this range is uh, skeet shooting or uh, clay pigeon shooting. I've only done it once, so it's, uh, it was fun. So you can uh, get different options here. Let's go, go for oversize because that'll be easier to hit. Um, number per throw, the timer. Oh, let's just keep it at uh, default. Um, all right, so let's begin. Make sure we've got loaded up. Perhaps I need some spare ammo. Let's put that in there. Right, begin sequence. Whoa! Beginner's luck, perhaps? I don't know. Let's try it again. Yes! I tell you what, I think I'm a natural. That is good fun. Let's do easy, get easy, not so easy, and even harder. So let's do easy. We just shoot these cubes. You don't know where they're going to come from, so it's quite tense. This is probably one of my favourite rounds. Of course, you got uh, lightsabers as well. And that's cheating using a lightsaber. Ah, there you go. I lost 289 points. <laughs> go figure. But that was quite fun. I like that one. Reaching proto number one. Now this one, when I first tried this one, I reviewed it. It was blank. You couldn't do anything. It was an empty house. Now I've got robots to fight. And things to hide behind. Now it's still not without its glitches. I'll show you in a second. But you can duck behind these boxes, which is great. You can hide behind a wall. And sneak around like that and see. See this bugger? And there's... It's quite scary. Kill the bugger like that. I find doing uh, little little steps like here is uh, is the best. Now there's one hiding behind here. There he is. This is where the uh, glitch is because you end up going through this floor. You know. Ah! Oh gosh! In. Yeah, so you saw the glitches there going through the floor. So that's something he's working on, but at least there's something to do in this house now. The 
There's things to hide behind, there's bottles to shoot. So that's good. It's difficult to do, but solve that glitch going through the floor, it would be superb. All right, next one. The arena. Oh! oh. So that's it. So I think to conclude, um, loading the guns is a lot easier than it was. There's not as many glitches um, like before when I was uh, had problems loading uh, the shotguns and and so forth. Those work perfectly fine now. So um, I uh, readily, uh, you know, think this is a good game. And uh, and if you haven't tried it, I think it's worthwhile putting your money into it now. There's been update 23, so it shows you how much effort and work the uh, the developer has uh, put into it so thanks for watching if you uh, like my video uh, please uh, thumbs up and subscribe bye now